My name is Bang Zhang, uh, engineer in Alibaba Cloud. My daily work is more in the field of fundamental research, uh, research about computer vision, multimodalities, and the natural language processing. I'm very proud to see our research being applied to solving real life problems and having real impacts on people. Xiaomo is a digital avatar who can perform two-way translation between sign language and spoken Chinese in order to support communications between people with hearing difficulties and the wider community. There are two key components. And the first component is about technologies that are related to digital avatars. And the second module is the translation module, which is powered by a large language model. Building the dataset for the training machine learning model is one of the biggest challenges that we have faced. Building sign language dataset, which have very large size with video collections and annotations, is very time consuming and costly for sure. It took us almost two years to build such a dataset, thanks to the help of volunteers and sign language practitioners. The other challenge on the technology side is that in sign language, uh, one word can have many different meanings. To tackle such a challenge, we leverage a technique called machine translation. Uh, it can perform the task of word selection and translation at the same time. It helps us to reduce the ambiguity and enhance the accuracy of the translation. During the Asian Prior Games, participants with the hearing impairments can simply open their Alipay app and use Xiaomo to ask for various assistance, including asking for directions, seeking medical help, and game viewing. Well, it will definitely make the game more inclusive and greatly help communication between individuals with hearing difficulties and other people. We have already pioneered the use of Xiaomo in museums, tourist spots, cafes, and news broadcasts. In the future, uh, we hope to see Xiaomo to assist individuals with hearing impairments to address their needs in public services.